Yo, what's up YouTube? My name is Brian Delmata, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna be breaking down Isaac Jacuzzi's Arena music video. Now, this music video is directed by Young Tata. He's one of my favorite directors right now. He has a really distinct style. I can always tell when I see a music video by him. He likes to add these film burn effects over a lot of transitions. He kind of does this ecto effect that I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, behind the performer. It kind of like flashes and like, it's like a ghost trail. And he really likes to shoot with uh, his VHS camera. I think like almost every music video he does now, he has a VHS camera operator or does it himself, but he always likes to use that real VHS camera. So I'm gonna be playing this music video with no sound just so I don't get copyrighted, but I definitely recommend you guys go listen to the song. I actually really like it. The music video is really dope. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I noticed right off the start is these overlays. It's like a old film look. I actually know which ones he used they're by uh, filmlooks.com. It's their old film look effect pack. I'll play one just so you guys can see. So it might not be that might not be the exact one he just used, but the one he used is in there because it's from the same pack. So going forward, just a lot of slow mo clips here with that overlay again, and then right here is what I'm talking about with the VHS. He used a little VHS camera, and to get this little these lines here. He was actually, when he was recording it on a OBS or whatever, however he transfers the VHS over, he's actually going in reverse or speeding up the tape so it has these lines here. Or he could just have an overlay where he just tosses on there and speeds up the clip. And then right here, he uses the old film looks again with a different blending style just so it's going over the darker stuff. So you just play around with the blending styles. They're kind of fun. You can really come up with some creative looks through that. And I think this is a really cool transition here. He goes from shooting on his camera to a VHS camera, kind of giving it that a cool transition, but it's the same clip, but he just had him retie his shoe again. So again, with overlays, title screen. Now here's one of the effects I'm gonna be going over here. Right here is he has a cutout of the next clip shaking with some glow on it. And then I think he just used a solid image of like a color and then put wave warp on it and some glow and then just changed it a little bit and then that's a trail effect i'm talking about i'll break that down later too he kind of has a little ghost trail it's the ecto effect and after effects with uh i believe some glow and some sapphire flicker on it so moving forward here's another cool transition he did this is just a practical transition done in camera what he does is he just kind of whips his camera back and forth here. So one second, let me get to it. Where is it at? So he just took a clip of him whipping his camera back and forth right before that, just to kind of add a transition. It's kind of hard to even see or notice, but if you're looking for it, you'll see it. He does it a few times throughout this music video. And again, with the VHS. And here's this wave warp transition I was talking about earlier. He kind of adds wave warp behind these guys, has them glow, shake a little bit. So that's done with either Sapphire Shake or maybe a Twitch plugin. And then it just transitioned in the next frame. It's kind of cool how he does that. Just adds a little flair to the video. It's like one, two, three, four, five. Five frames long. Something really quick. Now a little tip here if you want to break down a music video yourself or just like look for effects that you can't really see if you just play at full speed. Using the left or comma and period on your keyboard will go one frame ahead so you can kind of just dissect a video like this. And that's kind of how I know what he's doing to each transition and effect. Film look overlay, speed ramping. There's that transition again with the whip. And then he goes split screen with the film look overlay again. And then here is a different version. I believe he just added a solid again with the wave warp and then added universe glitch probably. I'd assume just by the way it's looking. I mean, you could probably do it in a uh, himself, but just the preset you could slap on and probably get a similar look. And it looks like he also has that ecto effect going again. Another camera whip, just gonna skip through now. He basically does the same effects over and again, it kind of gives it the style of the video. And you know, you don't wanna add too many different effects in a video, you wanna keep it similar. Right here, I'm pretty sure you use Sapphire Shake or actually probably more likely used like a Twitch plugin just to kind of give that shake and flicker look. So that's pretty much the video. Go check out Isaac Jacuzzi and Young Tata. I'll leave their links to their socials and I'll leave a link to this music video in the description below. But yeah, let's hop into After Effects and I'll break down these effects for you. So the way he did that ghost effect, I'll pull it up real quick. This effect right here where it has a trail of him. 
is what I imagine he did is went into After Effects, used the rotoscope tool, and I'll do it real quick. Went frame by frame like this and just tracked it to him. Now I already have another composition where I did this completely. So we're gonna be going to that. So here's my version of the effect right here. Has that trail. So to get that, you are going to go to your rotoscope. And then once you have your rotoscope done, click on rotoscope, go to this layer and click freeze. So it's gonna freeze it right here. It did a really bad job. This is just an example. Then click control D to duplicate the layer, delete it from the bottom layer, and then control D the top layer again. And then you are going to go to your effects and type in echo. Obviously don't just copy this straight up, but to get as close to him as possible, I think negative 0.033 echo time. I added 15 echoes because it seemed like he had a lot of them. The starting intensity 0.8. So that's 80%. And what decay is, is how much it fades away each frame. And then make sure to have echo operator as composite in the back. That just puts it behind the layer. So to mimic it, I just put on directional blur. I put it horizontally and I just put five. I don't know if you really had that on. I just thought it looked kind of better. So I tossed that on there. And then Sapphire Flicker, if you don't have that, it's definitely a really good plugin to have. Sapphire is basically what a majority of directors are now using either Sapphire or Universe in like a lot of music videos. So if you don't have that, go and figure out how to get that. And then Sapphire Glow, I just tossed it down there. I, I think I changed the glow width up a little bit and the threshold just so it wasn't completely glowing and then the brightness at one. Now to get this effect right here where it has the trails and that little glitch effect is what I did is I created a new solid layer by going to new solid and I just chose a random color and then toss it behind both of the top layers. And then what I did is I went to this shape tool here and just created a mask and made it more rectangular. And then I tossed wave warp on it, changed the wave type to noise, and then cranked the wave height up a bunch and the wave width down super low. And then to get it to change colors, I just went to hue and saturation, tossed that on there and then keyframed it to start at the beginning and then go to the end and just shift throughout. And for the glitch effect, just use universe glitch. And I just went to, to choose a preset and found one that I liked. I thought squares and lines was pretty similar to what he was doing. So I clicked squares and lines and applied the preset and then didn't change anything on that. Slapped on some glow, didn't change any settings at all. And then if you want Twitch, which is gonna like make it shake around a little bit, that's also another plugin that's pretty useful. It's not necessary, but it just adds a little bit more shake to it. And then that's what this is going to look like. Now, also, another thing that he probably did was go into Wave Warp and keyframe the wave height and stuff and just change it frame by frame and maybe even change the wave type frame by frame. And you could also keyframe the mask path so it moves and follows behind them. And then, like I said, to get that VHS effect that he kind of had where it had those tape lines, I'll find a point in the clip where he does it. I think he does it at the shoe at the beginning, right here, how it has those lines. What I did is when I was recording on my actual camera, if you just go in reverse, it has those lines automatically for you. So that's a way to do it. Or you can get an overlay. I'm pretty sure Film Looks has a similar one if you go to their VHS pack and it's, it's somewhere in here. So if you want to do it artificially, then you can do it that way. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. So if you like this video, like, subscribe, ring the bell, comment what other videos I should break down or what other effects I should do in the future. Definitely be sure to check out Young Tata and Isaac Jacuzzi. Also, don't just replicate his style. I just did this to show how he accomplished these effects. Definitely do not steal each effect for exactly what it is. Make your own version of it, tweak it, and make it into something cool and creative. But yeah, that's it for the video. So peace.